blessed be the name of the Lord. Um, today is uh, October the 16th, and uh, we are about to, I just got back from church and uh, had an amazing church service. Um, it was awesome, awesome worship, and the word was amazing. Uh, I'm really, really happy that, um, that I was able to hear the Holy Spirit this morning and, and uh, fellowship with our fellow brothers and sisters and the Lord. Um, I just wanted to just uh, let you guys know that um, I'm praying for you guys, and I just want to let you guys know as well that, that God is with you guys, and uh, he loves you. So with that being said, um, chapter 14 from the uh, New Life in Christ Discipleship um, is titled Praise and Thanksgiving. Amen. Um, it says, as you will notice in these scriptures, taking time for praise and thanksgiving pleases God. Wow. <laughs> um, on occasion, we ought to take all our prayer time to tell God how much we appreciate all that he is doing for us. So if you guys want to go ahead, I'll, 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 give, I'll take a minute out right here. We could do that. We could set that time aside right now and just thank him for um, what, he, what he's doing for us. Amen. Okay, uh, the first verse it's giving um, us to read, and I'm actually going to change these videos up. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, instead of, well, I'm going to share, but I'm going to, well, you'll see. Okay, so the first verse, it says, uh, Psalms chapter 106, verse 1, um, says, Praise the Lord, O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. And then Psalms 107, verse 8 says, Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 and through 18 says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you and for me. And so those are the three verses. The first verse is Psalms 106.1. The second verse is Psalms 107.8. And the third is what First Thessalonians 5.16 through 18. Um, and if I, I'm going to add to this because there's a, a verse that's, that came to mind immediately as soon as I seen the praise and thanksgiving verse, or praise and thanksgiving for... That's our uh, number 14, praise and thanksgiving. Um, so how do we enter his courts? With praise. How do we enter his, we enter his courts with praise and we enter, uh, we enter his courts with praise and we enter his, with thanksgiving. We enter his courts with praise and we enter his, what is it? How does it go? Enter his courts with praise and enter his, we'll see. We enter his courts with praise and we enter his with thanksgiving. Um, verse Bible for enter his courts with praise. Bible verse. Oh, here it is. It's in, Psal it's in Psalms as well. Um, 104.4. Is enter his gates with enter his gates with thanksgiving, oh, and his courts with praise. Okay, so enter his gates with thanksgiving. So that's how we enter in from thanksgiving and praise. Amen. So that's those are the verses that were uh, what were studied. Now this is going to be my, my there's something new that I'm going to be doing <laughs> on here. It's fun serving the Lord. It's fun. This is fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say these are the questions that I'm getting. I'm going to share my my answers to the questions, but because I want to I want to get you guys involved in these in these discipleship classes that we can do together and grow in the Lord together. So, what first question study guide? Wh what do we learn about praise and thanksgiving? Again, we we, we had Psalms 106.1, 107.8, and First Thessalonians five. 16 through 18. 
But this could be, it could be anything you want to say. Any, whatever it is that you learned about praise and thanksgiving. Giving, there's no right or wrong answer. Um, it says, what does this, what does this verse mean to you? The, uh, the verse that it's asking about is 1 Thessalonians 5, chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. I'll read, I'll read it again. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you and me. So the question is, what does this verse mean to you? Uh, the next question is, how can you apply its truths to your life? So how can you apply its truths to your life? From 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. Um, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that aren't going to reply, but that's going to. But I'm not going to. I'm going to reply because this studies for me, um, and if anybody wants to, to study along with me, of course you guys can study, share, whatever. But I'm going to share because I'm not going to miss out on a blessing in these questions. Um, so, what does this verse mean to you? Uh, the verse says, "Rejoice always, pray without th- ceasing, and everything give thanks for this is the will of God and Christ Jesus for you." So, that's that's what it means to me. It means that we always want to enter His course and His and, and, and His. Enter his courts and his. Uh, I keep I keep getting that off. Enter his gates and his courts. So we want to be able to enter in and to to uh, be prostrate before him in, in thanksgiving and praise him in all things. Um, how can you apply the truths in your life? Well, how we can apply them is by by doing the, doing what it's asking of us. So with that being said, praise and thank praise God and. Make sure to give him thanks in all things. In Jesus' name, amen.